Hey everyone, it's Pete Dalladay inside Market Hall. Welcome to another edition of Hometown PTBO. This is uh, Phil Jolliker, uh, Phil the Thrill, uh, <laughs> as he's known uh, throughout uh, parts of Peterborough County. Uh, mostly you know, within yeah. my old workplace. Right, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> listen, uh, on, a, on a serious note though, let, let's talk about this event. Um, it's something that I know is special to you uh, and, you're, and you're close to it. Uh, why did you want to hold this event for mental health, suicide awareness, and this great program? Um, well, thanks for having me. Um, the reason I wanted to have this event was I, uh, I lost my mom in yep. November. Um, mm -hmm. My mom took her own life. It, uh, nobody, nobody, none it was of a shock. Us, it was a shock. Yeah. Uh, none of us expect again. Um, it hasn't even been a year yet, so November will be a year. Uh, my mom loved loved live music. Yeah. Um, so initially, uh, and who she, who did she like? I imagine she she was an old soul, maybe. Was so she Neil did? Young was yeah. her favorite. Yeah. She brought me to my first Neil concert when I was four. <laughs> Oh, um, I was 44 when I first saw Neil, so yeah, <laughs> you're doing well there. Yeah. So yeah, she loved great music. Yeah, yeah Neil Young, yeah. Pink Floyd. Yeah. Uh, you know, she. <laughs> my my upbringing of Pink Floyd was her playing Amagama, and if you know Amagama, it's a bunch of noises. Uh, and the, yeah. so I hated Floyd uh, growing up for a certain <laughs> yeah. until she started playing, you know, Dark Side of the Moon and all the good stuff. So so part of this obviously is is for mom. Um, and, and for your healing too, but it is to eventually prevent this from happening to, to somebody else. Because yeah. that's what the program is all about. Uh, yeah, of course. So every, every tragedy or, you know, things that have brought me down in life, I've, mm. I always try to, it's my way of grieving or sure. mourning is, is to, to do better uh, for the community that I live in. And um, initially we're like, let's get a bunch of bands together and we'll do, uh, a big concert every year and raise some money and I was like well we've done that before we've you know Peterborough has hired a bunch of bands and yep. everybody donates their time because we have so many fabulous musicians here mm -hmm. and um, you put a great show but I wanted to do it justice I wanted to um, hire the best of the best of Peterborough uh, musicians so um, I picked uh, Rico Brown um, he's played with the Weber Brothers Blue Hazel and I was like Rico will you help me form this house yeah. band so yeah. we've handpicked the best musicians right. mm -hmm. well some of the best musicians in in Peterborough to be a house band and then um, we've got a whole bunch of special guests and so each year for five years I wanted to choose a decade of music um, because each decade played a part in my life and yeah. through my house mm -hmm. and um, so this year we're doing the 60s the 60s yeah a spirit, lot of... this, the spirit in the sky is the theme okay yeah perfect uh, and you got a perfect venue for it Beautiful venue. We're sitting in Market Hall right now, and, and the acoustics are amazing. The seating's amazing. I even have a drink holder here, which, yep. you know, I assume the bar will be open for the this. The bar event. will be open. So, that's right. So that's good. Uh, but that, uh, you know, it's going to be a big night. So let's look quickly. I know maybe, I don't know if you have time to list every musician off the top of your head, but you mentioned the house band, but, you, you know, you, you got the best of the best, as you say, coming here. <laughs> yeah, so uh, with the help of Rico, my band leader, we've got the Weber Brothers Band. Mm -hmm. So we got the mm -hmm. full four-piece uh, Weber's Brother Band. Um, we've got Tony Silvestri. We've got Nicholas Campbell. Um, He's amazing. So such a absolutely. great young talent. Yeah, yeah. unbelievable. Um, we've got Carling. Uh, who is unbelievable. You can catch her every single uh, Thursday at the Black Horse yep. playing if you yep. haven't had the opportunity. She's, great. She's fabulous. Um, and not only musically, visually, we're going to go all out because I feel when you vi put great visuals along with music, it can really mm -hmm. um, bring out the goosebumps in your arms. Sure. Uh, so we got Jason Wilkins, who is going to be here on the big projector screen doing his thing during the whole set. So, and a bunch of other surprises Okay, too, yeah, we so. don't want to give too much yeah. away, right? All right, uh, quick details. We're going to have them here on, on the blog, but uh, we know where. When, when is this happening? Uh, February 22nd of okay. 2023, um, seven o'clock. You can go to harmonyforhealing.ca to grab the tickets. Um, the money 2024 that, sorry 2024 yeah okay i did say 2020 yeah I'm, we're I'll, not back to the future here so it's all good <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you're testing me right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah good call okay uh, <laughs> okay but th this would actually this would make a nice christmas gift or you know what i mean it will yeah, yeah. if the tickets last uh, christmas yeah, yeah, time yeah, sure, yeah uh, ticket yeah. sales are going super well so yeah. i'm very happy about that the, the community support has been unbelievable 
the sponsors jumped right on board and 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 our you know this this event is completely funded by our community sponsors yeah. and yeah. um my goal is to raise ten thousand dollars a year for five years straight so 50 grand that will go to the assertive outreach um the assertive outreach suicide yeah. prevention program yeah. uh, at the cmha and this is a program that um, has been built right here in Peterborough that is saving saving yeah. people's lives um, and yeah. it's completely funded by our community. So um, yeah. it's a very important uh, program and a very important cause that's obviously deep to my heart. So um, this, this event is a five-year event, not only just to raise the money, but I really want people to know this event, this, this program is mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. um, it's accessible and as well as for community, the community to know about yep. it, to support it. Yep, and, and uh, I love the goal. 10 grand a year, five years, all the decades, uh, and, and it's a great program. Congratulations for getting it off the ground. I'm sure it wasn't easy. Uh, you got a little work ahead of you still. I can't wait till February. Now you got me. You got me excited for the night. But um, you know, congrats again for doing this, and Thank uh, you. we'll see you in February. Hopefully yeah. before then, but for yeah, sure that for night. Sure. For sure. Well, thanks for having me, yeah. and um, I think we're gonna listen to some music. I think we're gonna play out a little Carling here. Yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for watching Hometown PTBL. Brought to you by the Pile Group, CIBC Wood Gundy. Take me to heart, and I'll always love you.